The Craig and White Hair Speech Therapy Reading Poems I heard an Irishman sing this, The Craig and White Hair, and it made me cry because it was about a hair that no matter what people did with their dogs and their guns, it always managed to escape, it always managed to survive. And that was a triumph. Anyway, this is how it goes. In the lowlands of Cregan there lives a white hare, as swift as a swallow that flies through the air. You may tramp the world over, but none can compare with the pride of the lowlands, the Cregan white hare. One clear autumn morning, as you may suppose, the red golden sun over the green mountain rose. Barney Conway came down, and he did declare, This day I'll put an end to that bonny white hair. He searched through the lowlands and down through the glens, and among wild bushes where the white hair had dens, till at last coming home o'er the heather so bare, from behind the wild thistle jumped out the white hare. Bang, bang went his gun, and his dog it slipped too, as swift as the wind o'er the green mountain flew. But the dog came back, which made poor Barney sigh, for he knew the white hare had bid him goodbye. We are some jolly sportsmen, down from Pombroy, from Cookston and Gunn, and likewise the Moy. With our pedigree greyhounds, we have travelled afar. We have come down to the Craggin in our fine motor car. Away in the lowlands, there the huntsmen did go, to search for the white hare. They looked high and low, till Barney Conway, on the bog bank so bare, shouted out, to these huntsmen, there lies the white hare. They called up their greyhounds from off the ground lee, and Barney and the huntsmen, they jumped high with glee, for there on the turf bank they all gathered round, seven dogs, nine men, that poor hare surround. No wonder the white hare did tremble with fear as he stood on his toes and raised his big ears. But he stood on her toes, and with one gallant spring she cleared over the greyhounds and broke through the ring. The chase it went on to the beautiful view, as swift as the wind or the green mountains flew. But the pedigree greyhounds, they didn't go far. They came back and went home in their fine motor car. Then came another man, and you know him so well, his name Pat Devlin and Bonnie Black Nell. In search of the white hair, he says, I'll have fun. Here's fifty to one that Black Nell does her tongue. Five, five tons the hair got then from Bonnie Black Nell, and the six was given round John Hoggy's well. Twas there we lost sight of the white hair and dog, and ten minutes later they came o'er the bog. Well, the chase went on, twas great to see the white hair and the greyhound, they roamed light and free, till she travelled to Esker where she knew the land well, and the blonny back knell, she soon bid farewell. And now to conclude and finish this time, I hope you'll forgive me for singing this rhyme. If there's any amongst you in Carrick more fair, let's drink to the health of the bonny white hair.